Good morning students. In this video, we are going to see about various concepts of primitive network bus incidence matrix. So, kindly watch this video. Hello friends, we are going to discuss about primitive networks. Before discussing about primitive network, we have to just overview of some basic rules of electrical engineering. As we know that our electrical engineering is mainly depends on Ohm's law, uh, on uh, Ohm's law, KVL and KCL. These three is our basic rules of our electrical engineering. So according to Ohm's law, we know that voltage across that uh, one element is equal to the resistive uh, resistance of that element and current passes through that element. So we can also represent this is equation as V is equal to Z into I where Z is the impedance. Similarly, we, we can represent it as V is equal to 1 upon Y into I, I is equal to Y into V where y is equal to admittance so now coming over the primitive primitive means uh, primitive words is comes from the prime prime means main main is equal to original so primitive network gives us a characteristic of each element of a network individually so if we want to uh, analyze the characteristic of whole network uh, we have to know about character of each element of that the system so here we uh, we take one single line diagram of one uh, bus bar system here is the one generating station b1 and b2 is two buses this is our transmission line and load is there so to analyze analyze this system first we uh, we get separate separatize the generator so to know about characteristic of generator primitive network is uh, we can represent it primitive network in the two two ways primitive impedance network and primitive admittance network so in this v is equal to z into i here we use it, uh, impedance so this is known as primitive impedance network and as we use admittance phi then it knows as primitive admittance networks so for the generating uh, generating station here we represent as z uh, here two node is there i and j self impedance of that network and emf of that network is e is e i j this is the very representation of primitive admittance network if we want to represent as a ad primitive admittance network we use one current source admittance of that element y i j here here we can write in the equation form v i j plus e i j is equal to z i j and current passes through that element z i j equation number one for this network here we can see that two currents are there i i j and j i j current so as K kcl is applied i i j plus j i j is equal to y i j into voltage across that element v i j so from equation number one we can represent as i i j is equal to i i j is equal to 1 upon if we get this z i j this side then z i 1 upon z i j v i j plus 1 upon z i j e i j as we know that z 1 upon z i j is admittance so y i j v i j plus y i j e i j this is current i i j now i i j minus sorry not this this one minus y i j e i j is equal to y i j 
Vij. Now, equation number two, what we have? From equation number two is from here Iij plus Jij is equal to Yij Vij. So from equation number three and two, we can say that Jij is equal to minus of Yij Eij. This one and this one. So the performance equation in the form of Z and Y will be written as V bar plus E bar is equal to Z I bar I plus Z is equal to I bar plus J bar is equal to Y bar. Here we can represent Z and Y in the form of matrix which is uh, primitive impedance matrix and y is primitive admittance matrix. By this two equation, we can uh, analyze any of system, any number of system by the primitive networks and analyze that characteristics. Thank you. Am I eligible for a So, in this video, we saw about bus incidence matrix finding. The next video, we will be seeing about the bus admittance matrix from primitive network. From primitive network. So, kindly watch through the video. Thank you.